If you had to pick a tree to get fucked by, would you rather have coniferous or deciduous? Something to think about. Welcome back, boys and girls. Another episode of The Lowdown. It's your host, Manny. Here to tell you what the skinny is on the local scene, where to go, what to do, a little witty banter, and a couple mild insults, you know. Everybody's happy. None's the wiser. This weekend, we got stuff going on Friday and Saturday. Got a couple talking points, so to speak, to hit you with, and we'll go from there. First, Friday night. Friday! Drill Shaft Paddywhack over at the Dev on Friday from 6 to 9. It's an art exhibit by Wendy Wells, a.k.a. Jenna North. She's got a bunch of stuff. There's a pretty cool article explaining her game plan and everything on the events page. I suggest you read it. It should be cool. No cover, no bands or anything, but it's worth checking out. So, you know, head on down there and see what's good. I normally don't do these kinds of events because I don't give a flying fuck about other people's kids. But... I changed my mind. <laughs> not really. There just wasn't really a lot going on this Friday. So <laughs> but that's neither here nor there. West Canada Valley seniors, they're trying to get it cracking for their senior trip or some horse shit like that. I don't know. Maybe one of them's got leukemia or something. I hope not. I want to sound like a jerk. But uh, they're trying to get it popping, so they got a band playing. They got a couple bands up there. Friday at 6.30. If you're out there in God's country and you want to rock out some music, head over there. Fallen from One and Glen Street are going to be there. Two bands, five bucks. They don't suck. It's worth it. Plus, they could use the five dollars so they go get drunk and blacked out in some town that they don't remember. I know I want to help do that. I want to help contribute to some delinquencies of minors. Five dollars at a time. And you can, too. This is a Manny rant. I just want to say... This isn't an April Fool's joke. I know I found out about it on April Fool's Day, but this shit ain't funny, but this shit is true. Nick Cannon is coming out with a satirical album of music. It's supposed to be funny. It's called white people music. I don't know what the fuck he knows about white people. I don't know what the fuck he knows about being funny. I do know he knows something about <laughs> being pretty useless, <laughs> but that's cool. I'm kind of curious to hear it, but at the same time, I'm not. At the same time, I am. I'm conflicted. But I mean, I did see a picture. I don't know if it was the album cover, but he was like all whited out, like uh, like Dave Chappelle did in that episode. <laughs> the shit was mad funny. It kind of looked viable because he, he, he looked like he looks like a black white guy, I think, kind of. If you paint him white, I would believe that. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I'm just nuts. But you know, I mean, I'm awful light skinned myself. I don't know, I'm not an idiot, I guess. Well, I'm not an idiot when I'm sober. And I, and I mean that, honest engine. Saturday. Saturday, Cottage Jefferson in routine involvement over at the Dev. Doors open at nine. I don't know if that's when the music starts. They didn't say a price. I'm assuming that means that they're not charging you any money. But the Dev usually has good music on the weekends especially, so come check it out. You know, it should be good. And uh, if you don't, then I'm going to slash your tires, but I'm going to leave an IOU. I will pay you in Starbursts because everyone likes Starbursts and they're good. They're really useful when you're trying to fix flat tires because you can eat them while you're waiting for the guy to show up and change it. <laughs> Manny Rant! This one's really pervy, all right? In Vegas, they got this mile high club. You get into a Cessna fly you up 5,000 feet and you and your partner can get your swerve on. There's like a little mattress back there and they got like a door where they, with a rope curtain so the pilot can't see. He's wearing like noise canceling headphones and stuff. And then you can bang your, your lover a mile up and join the club. I just, I just envisioned like a ratty mattress with like nasty stains on it with like a milk crate with like a candle lit and a roll of toilet paper and you're supposed to get your swerve on on that and I just, I just think it sounds really seedy. <laughs> I think it sounds gross. I'm sure there's like a thousand people that would do it. I'm sure they're probably gonna make a buck off it. I'm curious, comment on the page if you would do it because I'm, I'm curious. I have to think people would say no. Maybe if you brought like body condoms from like a naked gun or something that That'd be cool. Pretty sure you'd suffocate rocking those fuckers. I don't know. Damon brought that dog here. We could put a body condom on that fucker and I wouldn't be mad. Over at Club Aqua from 9 to 2, we got Wicked, Brian Primo, Falling from One, Melissa M and the Times. They're going to be raging out out in Bridgewater, so check it out. There was no info on the price, so you're going to have to check out their event page. But I'm pretty sure it's 18 and up. Their shows usually are. Don't know. You're going to have to check the event page because I don't know. But I bet you it's on the event page. This, this is so fucked up. This is beyond, you know, 
Roll the bumper. Is this dude in Malawi, Africa, went to a witch doctor. The guy told him, you got to give up some of your body parts in order to get wealth and success in life, which seems like a reasonable request to me. So he continues to have a hyena eat his testicles. I heard this on the Bob and Tom show a couple days ago, and I, and I went and looked it up. This really happened. This really happened. So now he has no penis and he lives in Malawi. As a poor person, the only thing the government can't take from you is fucking. That's why poor people have so many kids because that's all they got. And now you don't have that. And what's rich in Malawi anyway? You get a bucket to shit in instead of a hole in the ground? Doesn't really seem like a wise decision short or long term. That sounds like existential hippie retard on acid shit. I don't know, I gotta stick a straw in there so he can pee. Where, where, where is his urethra now? It's just hanging out like a lip or something that's just kind of fucked up <laughs> what are you supposed to do with that man i i i don't know but i'm gonna leave you with that to ponder think about it hyena you're nuts Rawr! all right folks that wraps up another episode of the lowdown all wrapped up it was a pleasure serving you with a smile on my face because i'm thinking about how stupid you are and it makes me happy check out our page like it share it say stupid things insult me say provocative things ask me what color socks i'm wearing play your cards right i might just tell you i don't know depends on how many drinks i got in me <laughs> see you later guys yeah!